Now, first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Tom Messner. All right, you've got the self-driving car, or and you've got the virtual reality, rather. Now I just need the self-driving car. Today would be a great day for Abs that, wouldn't, wouldn't it? it? Absolutely. It's even just going out to the car. It's amazing because my car is not far from this studio, yeah. and I got absolutely soaked and coming to work. And trying to keep a camera dry in this isn't easy either. Well, that's why they don't give me one. They don't <laughs> trust me. You're the kind of guy that can handle that. <laughs> not so much me. Hey, the rain is continuing to come down. I think the rain is going to hang in there for a while tonight. It is going to go to scattered showers late but in the meantime, you know, if you're heading out this evening, you will definitely need an umbrella, raincoat, maybe both those things. That wouldn't be too bad. Let's talk about where the rain is. Some of it is fairly heavy. We've got kind of this rush of rain coming down from the north because of where the upper level low pressure is. You can see this thing just kind of winding up here. It's bringing the moisture around and then down. And the fact that we're in the 40s. And then we've got the wind and then we've got the rain coming down. It was just kind of yucky and clammy and everything else. We've got a couple of flood warnings to bring you up to speed on the Ausable River. You know, it's the usual spots that are flooding. It's minor flooding. Looks like that will continue to be the case. And we'll see how long that flood warning hangs in there because I think the rivers will start to go down, meaning the river levels. That's going to be the case. The Otter Creek as well. I know it was running very high, Rutland, Pittsford. But again, I think it's going to get a little bit better as we do progress through the nighttime. We had a flood watch in effect for, while well, an awful lot of our region and the National Weather Service said, hey, things are looking better. Still a couple of counties within here, the southern two counties of Vermont, so Wyndham County and also Bennington County until 11 o'clock tonight if it isn't canceled. All right, let me give you some weather headlines here. The rain is going to taper to showers. That's going to happen later on. So through the evening time, pretty steady rain, certainly around the Champlain Valley and even beyond as you kind of go out from that as a center. That's the way it's looking. The showers are going to leave on Friday, and I put it that way because I think first thing tomorrow morning, it may be on the wet side. I think we'll find at least some showers before we start to clear the weekend weather forecast. We've got it for you coming up here. It's worth the wait after what we've lived through today. It really is. I want to take you to Plattsburgh. I've got a camera up on the on the hospital there, CVPH. And we're looking around and things are looking okay. I mean, well, in the foreground, you know, usually the visibility is better. There is still rain hanging around, no doubt. It's just not as heavy as it was earlier. 46 degrees. We've got a northwest wind at 15. Of course, we've got gusts that are higher than that. So temperatures around the region, as expected, they actually pulled back a little bit during the day. So we're in the 40s, but, uh, you know, if you were out, you know this. It just felt colder than that. Now, tomorrow's going to be kind of a different deal. First thing, we may find a couple of showers around the Champlain Valley, and then the showers come to an end, I think, by later in the day, it will be a little bit clearer, meaning the clouds will be thinner, but not expecting perfectly sunny conditions until the weekend. This is Futurecast, 8 o'clock tonight. We still have rain. We'll take you right through the overnight. First part of tomorrow, still a few rain showers around, even snowflakes at the highest of elevations, and then we get rid of this stuff. So later in the day, I think it's a little bit brighter, but the real deal comes on Saturday. Any clouds early in the morning giving way to a ton of sunshine. Second half of the weekend Sunday looks good too. So the rain is tapering to showers tonight. I've got the nuisance icon there because the getting around is still, eh, you know, we've got some drainage issues around area roads and stuff like that. Just be aware of that. Low temperatures, upper 30s, low 40s for tonight. And then for tomorrow, we'll find some scattered showers around in the morning. And then just a lot of clouds, really. Temperatures in the 40s to the low 50s. So five-day forecast. 52 will do you tomorrow as we slowly clear. Saturday, any clouds very early. Giving way to sun. 53, 59 Sunday. This weekend, nice fall weekend. 63 on Monday, a lot of sunshine. Later on Tuesday, some showers will be arriving. Wednesday looks wet. Next Wednesday, Expecting rain. Thursday looks okay. Friday, kind of the transition day. And then a week from this weekend, I think we're going to find some rain showers around.